So, um, I think what I spoke with Mamila earlier was about me coming here um, on my own will or like pushing it. So, I also studied for years acting in Germany at a, at a state university. So, you don't have to pay for it, like the government pays for your studies. And then I was lucky to get accepted into a state theatre, so I was there in a company for three years. And then while this time I started to actually do my own work, so I worked on solo performances. And in this field, like, you never get a lot of money, so actually it's just... Yeah, it's often seen as a hobby, which I think is a problem, because, I mean, I spend like 12 hours a day sometimes on working on my performances and also um, how you advertise it, it's all on your own. And yeah, and I saw Mamela perform in Germany and I was very fascinated and I wrote to her just like on Instagram. <laughs> and so we got in contact and I said I have an art piece and then I booked my flight by myself and I came to South Africa. And it's my first time here. Yeah, I think um, I've never ever been at a place where there are so many beautiful humans, like um, so strong and so truly talking to each other. And um, yeah, that's, it fascinates me a lot. And I'm thanking you as well that I got the invitation to be here. And so, yeah, maybe you can. If you want, you can ask questions because I'm not. I didn't prepare a speech, so I don't know what to carry on about. But if you have questions, yeah, I can answer them. The first question. So um, I only arrived here Friday, so that's like three days ago. So I saw a concert on Friday, and I I had to cry during the concert because. I've never experienced this kind of like traditional singing in this way or the, the ancestors, like speaking to the ancestors. I, that's something I learned here and I'm really overwhelmed because um, in Germany or uh, I have a very untraditional family or lifestyle. Like it's just, I grew up in Berlin, it's like this big city and everybody's rushing and it's like, I know the timetable of the bus, but not my ancestors. <laughs> it's, it's a bit sad, but yeah. So um, that really inspired me as well. And the art I'm showing tomorrow, Fool, is also a kind of search what you can actually be as a human, how you can expand and go into the research of ancestry or mythology and not only because I grew up in Berlin, I want to like shut down my horizon and be like, okay, so me, um, I grew up in Berlin, I'm a Berliner. So I want to widen and spread out and like feel at home also in South Africa. And I'm getting this vibe, which is really nice. And yeah, you feel, you get to feel bigger and accept. It's so nice to get the feeling of accepting so much and to notice that you are able of accepting everything because that's what human can do, they can accept stuff. Yeah. And so, and yeah, Saturday I saw a theatre play which also fascinated me because in Germany um, the audience is always quiet so everybody sits there and if you're like um, you can even hear somebody unwraps a chewing gum or so and everybody's like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> so quiet. And here it's amazing because people respond to the emotion and they're like shouting stuff. But I think it's actually amazing because <laughs> often in Germany you, you have a piece and it's silent and then you only hear the clapping like really formal and you're like, okay. I don't know if they liked it, if they hated it, I don't know anything. So, yeah, that's a, a great interaction, really amazing. And uh, I think, I mean, 2019 or maybe also 2018, the debate about female um, roles in the arts expanded a lot, like also 
in the newspaper through all the things that were going on in Hollywood, like people, the whole Me Too debate, of course, yeah, grew. And now I would say, um, if you have a performance piece as a woman, actually now it's easier <laughs> to spread it because because you are a woman. But um, I find it sometimes a bit difficult because it's also that people are trying to make news out of it. So they're trying because now they're putting a political statement onto your work. Even if you just want to be like showing something that is like happiness or whatever, but then now that you are a woman, they expect, they put another layer on top of it, if you know what I'm saying, yeah. Um, but I think like where I grew up, there were not so big issues with, yeah, female, not female. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just one thing I wanted to add is also a reason why I like, decided to um, step out of this in institutional system is because the view on female roles in theatre, like what I experienced in Germany, not in every theatre of course, but the way or my pathway it took for me, are very like conservative and what annoyed me a lot is that female roles have to look pretty on stage the whole time yeah. and I was like I don't want to look pretty the whole time like I'm just getting bored and so that was also the decision for me to say okay um, to overcome this or to create my own characters with my own ugliness with actually the longing for ugliness that I discovered I have to um, make my own pieces. So I started doing that and I shifted this strange um, female role that, that um, they expect from you to look this kind of way, in, especially in theatre in general. <laughs>